Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today we're testing some viral drawing hacks and hopefully showing you some cool DIY doodling tricks that you can do at home when you're bored. We've done a lot of these videos before. We've done a hairstyle one and we've done like a general art one and we both love drawing. And there were lots of doodling hacks going around so we wanted to try some. And we're all spending so much time at home at the minute so it'll be really good to come up with some things to do to keep us preoccupied. We have a couple of things to say before we start the video. First thing, thank you so much for everyone who entered our giveaway. We read through all of the comments and they're so lovely. It means a lot to us. So the giveaway is now closed and we will be announcing the winners at the end of the video so stay tuned. And we picked them at random. Secondly, we hope you guys are staying safe, staying at home and following the government's rules. We want to take this opportunity to thank the NHS and all of the health services in the UK for dedicating time and effort to keep everyone else safe. And everyone who's working hard to keep us safe. Like we said in our last video, we're going to continue to upload like we have before, except our videos may focus more on things to keep you all entertained. So we're going to be working on content over the next few weeks to give you creative ideas and ways to keep busy. Okay, so let's get on with the video. This video is a testing video, but we wanted to make it a bit more fun, so we've combined it with a switch up challenge. <laughs> so, how this challenge is going to work is our mum's going to give us two mystery items in each of our switching dishes. And we've got to decide if you want to keep or switch it. And once we get our items, we have to test whatever drawing or doodling hack we've got. We haven't seen any of them. We gave our mum the idea of the video, but we haven't seen what we're actually doing. We're going to do rock, paper, scissors, who goes first. And I really hope I win for once. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <gasps> I won! I won. <laughs> okay. I'll go first. Yeah? I'll look under first. All oh, right, okay. This is okay, I have no idea what it is, but it's okay. Five star actor. I'll switch. Okay. Yay! It had oh. string, so I don't want it. <laughs> it looked quite difficult. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay. We both have chinks. We both have a pen and a pencil. Okay. I have like a paper clip and these like things you put on like folders. Border clip. And an elastic band and Doing. I have a paper clip, pins, and string. String. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing. Perspective. I don't know what that means. I've got how to draw perspective without a ruler, and I guess you've got the same. I've got an elastic string. band. Though. So let's watch the video and see what we're doing. Okay, so we've got the computer, and now we're gonna watch Rayleigh's first. So they take string and Ooh. draw like a lot. <gasps> that's so, oh my gosh, that's like the smartest thing ever. That's really cool. Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool, I'm excited. And that was by Five Minute Crafts. Mm -hmm. I hope this one's easy. So you clip the string on either end and stretch it. The elastic, sorry. Can you get a paper clip? Okay. <laughs> and you draw, yeah, you draw loads of lines. And then you've got like a build, a building. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and they gradually get bigger because that's just how the perspective works. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm excited. Let's give this a try. That really didn't work. One, because it would ruin the board. Two, I couldn't get it in the board. And three, the string would just kind of undo anyway. So I'm gonna use clips this time. it and it does work but not really efficiently it's, so I feel like once you get the hang of it it does teach you a lot about perspective so this is what mine looks like 
Looks really good. Now it's your turn. I feel like yours is going to be easier. It works, which is good. So I just finished doing the vertical lines of all the windows and now I'm going to do the outline in black pen. <laughs> I'm really proud of it and I'm gonna show you guys in three two one so here it is I really love it and it literally kind of looks very similar to the video it looks really good actually but it's kind of I don't know it's a bit like an optical illusion as well because you can kind of view that as inverse of itself and this actually taught me a lot about perspective because I didn't know much about it before doing this there is also a video that shows you how to draw trees and more things along with this and it's up here and you could draw like a whole street with that. Yeah, I'm really excited mm -hmm. to do more of these. Yeah, this is like the base level. So this was my perspective. It worked and all of them have the same perspective. If I was going to do it, I'd probably use Ruby's method instead. Mine was a success because it looks very similar to the video and the elastic band definitely worked way better than the string because it's more stretchy and movable. So this yeah. is definitely a success. Yours is really good. On to round two. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's my turn to look, but you can kind of already see what's in mine. I'm excited. Okay, I'm ready. I actually want this one. Look at me in my eyes and tell me you want it. I want it. You don't want it. I'm gonna keep. Yes, I want this one. Oh, is mine harder? I don't know. I haven't seen yours. Three, two, one. Yes! So I've got cardboard, I've also got a cake um, mold and a cookie cutter. I have got whatever this is. <laughs> Spiky thing. Yeah. I have double sided tape and masking tape. Three different colours of Ooh. pens. And I have a bottle top. So mine is a DIY spirograph toy. It looks like it's one of those things that you have like a mandala type of design with. I have it! Remember I used to have that, remember that spider? Yep. Doodle, Doodle Daisy! Daisy. I, I love that. So it looks like we're doing spirograph yes. art. <laughs> I'm excited, so we're gonna watch the videos. Is this one yours? Yes, the bottle cap one. So I've drilled holes into it. Three. Three holes. Use that circle. Oh, that is so cool. <gasps> How did that happen? <laughs> That's so cool. Now my one. DIY spirograph. So you've got cardboard, which you have there. So you take a cut out square, then you cut out a circle, and then you take a strip of cardboard, and you peel it. How is that? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. And you make like a little spiky thing. You corrugate the outside of a small piece of cardboard and the middle of the big one. <gasps> oh, I can see how this is going to work yeah, it's now. it's going to be like a pattern. And then you do your holes in the small one, and it's going to like wheel around. That's actually quite cool. That is good, yeah. I'm excited to try it. So we're doing spirograph doodling and Ruby's going first. I think mine's easier. So my mum just finished punching the holes into it and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna do pink first. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I didn't actually expect it to work at first, but Me neither. <laughs> that is so cool. And the double-sided tape definitely makes it stick. So we're gonna do a blue now and we wanna make it so colorful. So I'm gonna press. I'm actually blown away. Like, so am I, I'm no really quite This is what it looks like. And the good thing about it, and my favorite thing about it, is especially when you use different colors, they all end up different and cool, and you can do them so many different ways. But you could even use bigger ones or smaller ones to make different shapes, like Rayleigh's. I'm gonna attempt to make a DIY one out of cardboard. And now I'm going to do the 
blue. Okay, so we're done now and I'm so happy with how mine looks. I'm actually so surprised. I didn't think it would work. And you can do these in so many different shapes and sizes of spirographs. So mine is a massive thumbs up. It definitely works. Same, I love mine so much and I'm so shocked they both work. That's a success. Okay, so it's getting really late now and it's time for our dinner. So we're gonna go and do that. <laughs> so we have three more rounds. We're really looking forward to it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so it's the next day now and we're ready to continue with the challenge. We're really excited, but I get to peep this time. Turn around. Your turn. <laughs> I have no opinion on this, to be honest. Oh, that's helpful. I'm gonna keep it. Yay! It has colouring pens in it, so I want it. Three, two, one. <gasps> Yay, I didn't get the glue gun. I'm really bad with glue guns. I've got a glue gun and I've got a straw as well. It's quite cool. I have some colouring pens and a pen and some paper clips. My hack is by five minute craft. And my hat is by 5 Minute Crafts Play. I'm gonna watch the videos to find out what they actually are. Okay, my one first. <gasps> you know what? That is a you... really good idea. That's really easy. It's like making this like perfect circle with paper clips. I might actually use that because I am hopeless at using compasses. I'm hopeless at making like perfect circles. <laughs> okay. Well, yours. now my turn. That's four. And then you glue it to a line of little straws. <gasps> oh my! Oh my goodness! That is so smart though. I really want to try this, I can't wait. Right, so I get to go first. I've done it now and I've put a lot of hot glue on to reinforce it because I feel like the plastic might fall off. So I'm gonna leave it for a while and let Ruby go on with hers while it's drying. Okay, so I need two paper clips and I need to connect them. Okay, so this definitely worked. You do have to get your hand in like the right movement and get the swing of it, but then it works definitely like this. It's definitely a success. Okay, so now it's on to Rayleigh's. We've both just finished both of our circles and I finished mine and I'm so happy with this. It worked really well and it was really fun. So I would give it a big thumbs up. It does work. I give mine a thumbs up too because mine is a lot easier to make and you don't actually have to make anything or use products to make it. Now we're gonna go on to round four and it's my turn to look. Okay, you need to shut your eyes now and I'm gonna have a look. I'm frightened. Why is it so quiet? You can have it. It's good, but I think you'd prefer it. I'm gonna keep. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've both got like little wooden blocks, except yours are letters and mine are numbers. How to turn numbers into cartoon birds. Oh, so we're gonna be drawing like small birds. I have seen this before, so I'm gonna be making an owl word yeah. into an owl. I'm excited to see this, and it's your turn to go far. Yeah. Go. Hmm. Owl. Can you draw another circle? <gasps> I'm definitely doing this one. 
So this is really fun. It's like drawing characters out of words and it's like the same character. I'm really excited. I'll probably do this mm -hmm. when I'm bored. Yours looks very hard. <laughs> Wow, that's, they're so pristine with what they do. Like, you're really good at drawing those, so I'm glad you got the hard one. Thank you. <laughs> what about two? So we've got a bird. I bet it's a snail. No, no, it's like a, what's it called? Um, A thing that's in the sea, it's called a flamingo. In the sea? Oh, that's so cute. You just bit like a flamingo mm -hmm. or a pelican. This is by Toy Tunes. We're only watching one to three, but if you go on the YouTube video, you can see all of them. Oh, it has massive eyes. <laughs> it's an owl. No, it's, it's a like bat. A vampire. It's a bat. <laughs> that one's weird. I like it. What is it? It looks like my personality. So we've watched the videos, and I'm going to be drawing loads of birds from numbers. And I'm going to be drawing an owl from the word owl. <laughs> Okay, while Ruby's colouring her owl in, I'm going to get a start on mine. Okay, we're both finished now. I'm so happy with how mine looks. They were really fun. And I made mine out of owl. And I made three birds out of one, two, and three. So we're yeah. going to show you in three, two, one. They are! I love them, they're so good. This is what mine looks like. And they were so really easy to do. <laughs> this is what yours looks like. I love mine. I'm really proud of myself because so I'm good. not normally like the best drawer, but this is actually quite good and it's really similar to this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description for this video because these aren't our ideas, they are someone else's. And there are more of them in that video. So if you are interested in doing this, Check out that video. So mine was a thumbs up and so was mine, but now it's on to the last round and I get to pee. One round. Okay. Open your eyes. Do you want it? I don't want it. Okay. Should I take it from you then? And you can have it, <laughs> I think you want it. Three, two, oh. <laughs> Right, we just have art supplies, so should we just open these? So we have this one. This is actually really cool. Or we can do this, which is like a ladder. Oh, so they're illusions. Let's watch the videos. Here we are. Oh, so you start out with like lines. Five minute crafts. So they're drawing X's. You can see it in so many different ways. Yeah. And then they're colouring that one in. And colouring that one in. Okay. Oh, and it's like a book. It is simple enough. Let's watch yours. Oh, oh, that's really, that's, that's quite, um. Whoa! That's really, whoa, that's nice. so cool. Okay, time to do them. I'm going first. So, so, so. and it's looking really really good it's definitely really illusiony and i kind of can't decide where the boxes are and like what they look like it makes my eyes go a bit funny because you don't know which way to look at it it's like but here's what it looks like so this is what it looks like and it's really it looks cool that way as well but it's really hard to kind of tell where the boxes are facing because it just keeps changing so that's the final product It's my turn now, I have my green paper and I'm gonna try and do this. So 
I just finished my illusion, but I haven't actually tried it yet, so we're gonna see if it works. So, this is what it looks like normal drawing. It looks just like you get a bit confused as to what it is. <gasps> that works! Do you see that? Okay, so that is the end of the illusion round. I'm so happy of how these looked. They were so fun to do. Again, this one's mine. And this was a massive success. It worked so well and it's really easy. And this is mine. It was super easy and it was definitely a success because the illusion definitely worked. So that's the end of our video. We really hope you enjoyed and we hope we gave you ideas for drawings and doodles that you can do at home. We've done fun things like perspectives, spirographs, illusions and things like that and just animals and some of these were so easy and some of them were a bit harder so we're now going to do our shout outs and announce the two winners of our thrift makeover giveaway so the two winners we have picked at random please if you did not win don't be sad because there'll probably be lots of giveaways coming up sadly we can't pick all of you but if we could we would yeah we wish you could all win but we only made two jewelry boxes so the first winner of our giveaway is cute dear here's your comment Congratulations! You will be getting my jewelry box and hopefully you like it. And the second giveaway winner is the Awardingly. Thank you so much for your comment and you won my jewelry box. I really hope you like it. It took so long to make. If you won, then we will DM you on Instagram telling you all the details and sorting it all out. Again, thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway. We're so grateful for all of you and your comments were so nice. We have two shout outs for this week's video. The first shout out goes to Gacha Pineapples 52 Thank you so much for subscribing to us. We love you. We're glad you like our bloopers because they're my favourite part. Same. Second shout out goes to Edie. Thank you so much for hashtagging our sister squad, for commenting a lot and for watching all of our videos. It means a lot to have your support. We can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and early school. We love you guys so much. That's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Stay safe. Bye! <laughs> it's me, me, me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Wait, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> We're just getting called for tea time. Wait, no. <laughs> Did I even get a go? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now we're gonna go on to round three. Four. And it's Cool. Yeah. Oh.